Conservative New Media viewers, we have another installment of our Unsolved Mysteries series today, and it concerns the fascinating geological phenomenon known as the Saline Stones of Death Valley, California. The graphic we are using here helps to illustrate the point. You can clearly see the trail which the rock has left in its wake as it somehow moved or slid across what is an incredibly flat, dry lake bed surface named Racetrack Playa. Racetrack Playa, all 2.8 miles of it, is so flat, in fact, that one end of the surface is reportedly just 1.5 inches higher than the other end. Which is to say, then, that whatever force is pushing the rocks across the dry lake bed, it almost certainly is not gravity. In the video description, we have included 10 different links on this fascinating story. The first two links are to an article and a blog post on the phenomenon. The next three links are Wikipedia entries on the Sailing Stones, Racetrack Playa, and Death Valley. After that, there are two links to Google Maps of Racetrack Playa and the larger Death Valley National Park so you can see where this story takes place. The eighth link in the video description is to a fascinating YouTube video also on this subject. The footage there may provide clues to how the rocks are moving. Finally, we include two links to image groupings of the Sailing Stones. There are a number of very beautiful pictures of this phenomenon which you would probably enjoy checking out. One further note on the two Google map links. We encourage you to put these maps on the terrain setting so you can get a sense of the topography of Death Valley National Park and the area surrounding Racetrack Playa. For our international viewers, a bit of quick information on Death Valley and its place in American culture. Death Valley is part of the Mojave Desert, which is situated among the southwestern states of California, Nevada, and Arizona. We will include a link in the video description to the Wikipedia entry on the Mojave Desert, which includes a map of the region the desert occupies across the three states. Death Valley, as Wikipedia ably points out, quote, features the lowest, driest, and hottest locations in North America, unquote. When Americans think of Death Valley, they think of incredibly hot temperatures in a desert location where some people are bold enough to run marathons and even ultra marathons. It is a punishing, desolate landscape that many find very beautiful. And it does have a special place in the minds of many Americans as a symbol of the rugged and often untamed western portion of the nation. Okay. So, back to the sailing stones themselves. How are they moving, exactly? What is pushing them? This is the mystery. No human being, at least on record, has ever seen the stones move. Because that is the case, any number of theories have been postulated to try to explain their movement, ranging from the scientific to the supernatural. According to Wikipedia, researchers began to take note of the moving rocks in 1948. A seven-year program was implemented to monitor the movements of the rocks in 1972. The two prevailing theories for how the stones move are, first, that strong winds push at the rocks when the lake bed becomes muddy due to the infrequent rains or melting snow. The second theory, which is similar to the first, maintains that the movement of the rocks occurs when water underneath and around the rocks turns into ice. The ice then either breaks off into ice flows which propel the rocks forward, or the ice, according to the theory, helps to focus and concentrate the wind, which provides a stronger propulsive force to nudge the rocks along in their pass. The YouTube video on this subject, which we have linked to in the video description below, and which we will now link to via an annotation on the screen, provides excellent visual evidence of how the water, mud, and ice theories might play out with the sailing stones.
though this unsolved mystery may be on its way to being solved in the near future, the sailing stones of Death Valley, California, are certain to long remain a point of fascination for tourists, scientists, and interested observers around the world. For Conservative New Media, this is Paul F. Villarreal.